Merry Christmas Eve and welcome to Lamington Presbyterian Church. We are delighted that so many of you could come in person. We appreciate everyone masking and we wish a Merry Christmas to those of you joining us from online this evening as well. We designed this service so that you came in as the day is ending. It's light outside but as we worship the sun will officially go down and we will be closer to Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and that is why we are here to gather. I want to mention that we will not have service tomorrow, no, no worship on Christmas Day, but we will have service on Sunday morning at 1015, as we always do. So you all are welcome to join us every Sunday at 1015 as well. I want to thank all of those who made this service happen tonight. Most of you are listed in the bulletin, but I did leave off a few names, um, namely that our wonderful soloists Craig and Victoria were also part of our handbell choir, which was phenomenal at, for our introit. And the Mistley family and Georgie and Reeve Schley also gave to our wonderful Christmas decoration. So thank you for your patience as I... Um, play the role of office manager this month. And I'm delighted to say that as of January 3rd, we have a new office manager. And the really cool thing is that she chose to worship with us this evening. So Alana is sitting in the back row and she will begin on January 3rd as our office manager. You can find her Monday through Thursday, 10 to three. We are so blessed to have Al Alana in 2022. So we are eager to welcome her in the new year as well as this evening. The order of worship will note where you will um, participate tonight in bold and when you are to stand with an asterisk by some of the hymns. Um, not all of the hymns are meant to, to be um, for you to stand, and so uh, that's for your comfort, designed for your comfort and safety. So please note that. If you stand when you're not supposed to, it's okay too. Uh, we will end the service by candlelight, and if you don't have a candle, the ushers can bring you one. Um, please note that as we light candles, when you, when you have an unlit wick, you tilt, and those who are holding the lit candle remain vertical. We keep, keep safe and not spill too much wax on everyone tonight. Um, and we will lift our candles high during the last verse of Silent Night. Um, we are trying to be very safe, and so please um, be as discreet as possible when you are blowing out your candle. So, you know, put your hand behind the flame. This is not a birthday cake. Um, and so, you know, just do your best to hold your breath a little bit this evening so we can be as safe as possible. Um, we joke that um, service usually starts five minutes after the stated time, so I'm just rambling so we get more um, people come in and seated. We, we expect people to show up at 4.15, um, and we are grateful for all who are here. Um, anytime, you can come in to worship late. So that is it for the announcements, and now I invite you to stand as you are able. And please join me in the responsive call to worship. From the prophet Isaiah, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. We who lived in a land of deep darkness, on us light has shined. The Lord has multiplied the nation and increased its joy. We rejoice before God as with joy at the harvest. For a child has been born for us, a son given for us. All authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.
You may be seated. Tonight, we light all of the candles of the Advent wreath. The first candle reminds us that Advent is a time to wait upon the Lord with faithful endurance. The second candle reminds us to watch for God's presence. The third candle reminds us to prepare for the Lord in heart, soul, and mind. The fourth candle reminds us that we are one. We wait for, watch for, and prepare for Jesus Christ, who is Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. Tonight, we also light the last candle, the Christ candle. This candle reminds us that we are to proclaim the message of Christmas by celebrating what Christ has done and by sharing it with others. As the light from each candle fills this room, so may the light of Christ fill our world. Let us pray. God in heaven, we thank you for guiding us through our Advent journey, through our hopeful waiting, watching, preparing, and praising, we are now ready to proclaim. Help us receive the glory of Christmas as we celebrate and rejoice that you have come to us through the gift of Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. Amen.
Okay, I hope I can pronounce this right. Uh, okay. Um, my servant David, not my father, David from the Bible, um, shall be king over there. And they shall, they, oh my God, I should take off my mask. Yeah. I got a horrible haircut. As you can tell, I got a horrible haircut today. Um, okay, uh, my servant David shall be king over there. Oh, no, them. And they shall all have one shepherd. They shall follow my ordinances and be careful to observe my statues. They shall, they shall live in the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, in which your ancestors live. They and their children and their children's children shall live there forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will bless them and multiply them. And will set my sanctuary among them forevermore. My dwelling place shall be with them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Then the nations shall know that I, the Lord, sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary is among them forevermore. I did it. No, my paper. Good evening, everyone. 
Unlike Miles, I do need a haircut. <laughs> Today I'll be reading Isaiah chapter 40, verses 9 through 11. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms, and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother sheep. This reading is from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn.
Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 15. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of a great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. This reading comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 16 to 20. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying them and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them.
The journey of the wise men, according to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem and the land of Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time that the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The wise men brought gifts to the newborn king, And so we have learned to give in response to God and all that God gives us through Jesus Christ, our Lord, whom we celebrate this night. So let us give to the glory of God. Will you pray with me? Your word is made flesh and dwells among us, O God, full of grace and truth. For that gift and all you give us, we are grateful. We give you thanks that you have brought peace to all people through your gifts. And we ask that you help us to pass along that peace in all that we do. We pray that you would bless the offerings given this night and multiply them for your use in your holy kingdom, our world. And we pray this in the name of your Son, whom we receive tonight, and who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This evening we pass the light of Christ and we trust that when the scripture tells us the light shines in the darkness, the darkness cannot and will not ever overcome it.
The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot and will not ever overcome it. We may extinguish these candles this night, but go out into the world shining your light, shining the light of Christ that is within each of you. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of you and those whom you love wherever they are this day and always. Amen. Merry Christmas.